Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is so exciting because I've wanted to try this for so long and I finally get to. So the absolute mad lad, Infinite Forgers, has gone and recreated a part of Halo Infinite's campaign in Unreal Engine and we can actually walk around in the world and experience it. This is not like a full-on campaign experience. This is not like anything spoiler-based or anything. He's just recreated the kind of environments of Zeta Halo based on what we've seen so far in Unreal for us to experience in like a first-person shooter playable environment before the game comes out. So uh, you don't have to worry about spoilers or anything. This is, this, I don't even think there's any combat in this. This is more so just like a, a Zeta Halo world experience and I'm so excited to play it. So go and drop him a follow if you haven't done already. Link is in the description. Massive shout out to Infinite Forges for this. Uh, and let's crack on. So here we go. You can see that this starting screen already looks beautiful. Quick reminder, Infinite Forges made all of this by hand from scratch, right? This guy is insanely talented, but uh, let's waste no more time and begin the technical demo, baby. And here we are. Ho -ho! Oh my. Okay, if this is any slight indication of what it's gonna be like walking around Zeta Halo. Oh, oh, the music. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, just I'm just gonna stop for a second and just take in how unbelievably beautiful this environment is. I'll be honest, the motion blur is very high, but uh kind of makes the world even more beautiful. Which path do we take? Let's have a little walk up here. There's no sprint, all you can do is just run and jump. Because like I said, this is pretty much just like a a Zeta Halo experience. This is not a combat experience. This is just like a, like a Zeta Halo exploration experience that's meant to give you a taste of like what the campaign could be like just roaming around Zeta Halo exploring. Oh, hello. Just like taking in the world. I did not know that was there. Whatever the hell that thing is, that like massive drill or whatever it is. Just listening to like the natural environment and like the wildlife and the wind and the sound of walking through the water, there's something really comfy about it. It really does evoke that feeling of Alpha Halo in Halo 1 where it's like, yeah, you're exploring what is a galactic super weapon that could literally just kill all life in the galaxy like that. But at the same time, it's so beautiful. Like, it's so dangerous, but it's so beautiful, and this really does evoke the same feeling. I like how the hex pillars are just covered in moss and, like, and dirt, and if- oh. Oh? Oh, which way do we go? I say we go up here. Through this, like, cave-looking thing. Oh my god, this is- Obviously, this is, like- the actual campaign will probably be like a quite a bit different to this, but just the notion of getting to freely explore a Halo like this. Oh, seeing a beam tower, that's so cool. <laughs> getting to freely explore a Halo, and of all Halos, Zeta Halo, just like this, just like oh, what's in here? Just like under your own volition, with no one like no no AI saying like oh we need to go through this door, Chief, or oh we need to rendezvous with these Marines, Chief, just like. Being able to just wander around the Halo and just take it in at your own pace is going to be so comfy. I can't wait for it. That's our galaxy. <laughs> yes, I know the exact quote where this, uh, the exact quote from the exact cutscene where this music plays in Halo 3. <laughs> I'm a Halo fanboy, okay? Just. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. God, this is... Apologies for the French, but this is beautiful. Holy hell. This reminds me of the cave. This is going to sound so specific, right? But this reminds me of the cave 
in the coagulation remake in Halo 2 Anniversary. There's little like fluorescent mushrooms. Okay, now we emerge from the cave. I've got a feeling we're gonna have like some next level Halo 4 moment. Oh, oh we got sentinels! They're massive as well. They look huge. They were aggressors. But they look massive. It's just listen to the wind in the trees. Man, you can't tell me that doesn't sound so comfy. This just gets me even more excited for Infinite's campaign. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna tread off the beaten path. This just gets me even more excited for Infinite's campaign and just being able to explore a Halo ring. I said it already, but I'm gonna say it again. It just, it's just, oh, that's where we came from. And there's that big thing, whatever it is. The, it's the, the thing, the forerunner thing. Oh man. Quick word of appreciation as well for this AR model. This AR model is very, very, very high quality and very nice looking. I like it a lot. Oh. Oh, there it is. Boom. What is that thing? I swear that's got to be a drill, right? That looks so much like a drill. It's so serene. So quaint. Whoa, hello. Whoa, they were fast. Oh my god, those banshees were fast. Wow, okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> this, you know what? This reminds me <laughs> a little bit of Jurassic Park. I don't know if that's just me being weird, but... Something about the sounds of the wildlife and everything just give me Jurassic Park vibes. Oh, dude, this is... Ooh, a pit. I'm not going to jump down there because I've got a feeling if I jump down there, I won't be able to get back up. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, apologies for that crash, but uh, we're going to get to experience those banshees again now. <laughs> Any second now. They were... They were some fast boys, those banshees were. They came from over there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they were fast. The motion blur makes them look even cooler as well. Now, can we go? Can we go over here? I want to go and check out that beam tower. Oh no, invisible barrier. No. This is just so quaint. Just something so comfy about exploring this, man. Oh, I can't wait for Infinite. This, like I said, this just gets me even more excited for Infinite's campaign because we're going to get to do this whilst fighting the Banished and the Sentinels and like Everything else. Hopefully flood as well. Okay, uh, that wasn't a crash or anything. I think that was just the experience ending. So there you go. That's what it's going to feel like, at least somewhat, to explore Zeta Halo in the Halo Infinite. That is a beautiful recreation of Zeta Halo in its natural environment. Infinite Forges, bro. Bravo. Absolutely bravo. Uh, you can see on the screen right now, he's working on other stuff as well. And if you guys want, I will definitely play through all of that as well when that releases. But, uh... Yeah, just once again, massive props to Infinite Forges for that. Uh, and yeah, that's going to round this video out here. Just another short one. Just thought I'd kind of highlight this because it's a really cool community creation that I think deserves more light shining on it. So yeah, go and follow Infinite Forges on Twitter. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.